Hello, hello, this is Katie, also rocking.kk on Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to be doing a collaboration today with Wanda the Foil Lady on YouTube. It's actually Wanda the Foil Lady and Friends. I, am, uh, jo I have joined her and we are making videos together here and there. So I'm going to start out with a Santorini rock. I'm going to be using these decor rum uh, alcohol inks we will put a link in the description to where you can get those on amazon um, i have an alcoholic uh, blending solution alcohol 91 percent i have a rainbow additive by marabou i have wells in case i need that i have a gold i'm not sure if i'm going to use that yet and i also have a white so those are both pinata. This one's Marabou. I have different brands going on here. Um, I also have extras over here in case I decide to throw in another color. So I'm going to get prepped real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've taken the lids off of all of my bottles and um, I haven't taken the gold off yet because I'm just not sure I'm going to use it. I put my white in a well because I don't know, I did something to the nozzle and it won't come out so I just have to pour it out in a well and I'll just use my brush you can get these little brushes um, real cheap on Amazon they're little uh, disposable eyeliner brushes so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a little bit of alcohol a little bit of blending solution and then I'm just going to free drop uh, ink on the rock so um I'm not necessarily going to do like a specific design. This is the, the fun way that I like to do it. And um, there's other things you can do, but this is going to be more beginner level. Um, and then we'll get into more difficult things later. Plus, I'm still learning. So I'm just sharing with you what I have learned and what works best for me. Now, this is by no means the best way or the right way. This is just the way that I've found that I that I like doing it. Okay, I have 91% alcohol in this little spray bottle. Just in case you're curious. And what I like to do is I like to cover this rock completely and I don't know why blue is popping out. That's weird. Okay. We'll go with it. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Because there's going to be blue in the rock. So I like to cover my rock with alcohol. And then put a little uh, blending solution on there. Just a little bit. Kind of helps the color start to fade. Now I start by dropping just a couple of colors here and there. And just kind of letting them spread out. And then I kind of go in between those colors. These are some of my favorite colors. I know I keep doing them over and over again on rocks, but I love them. So I'm going to kind of go fill in some more holes with pink. Go back in with some turquoise. Now that's looking kind of cool just like that. Honestly, I kind of like that and might leave it. I think I am going to throw a little... A little gold in there the gold is really cool it's sparkly and I think I'm gonna just kind of drop it in some pink just kind of let it run Now I'm just manipulating the, the gold just a little bit with the brush. Spread it out a little so it's not just one blop. I'm going to pour a little alcohol here in the well so I can rinse my brush out. So I haven't played with this rainbow too much. Let's go 
try some of this rainbow on here. Whoa! Just popped right off. It wouldn't be a video if I didn't have something crazy happen. It wouldn't be a Katie video. So I'm just dropping that rainbow and you can see how it sparkles. I'm just kind of adding it all around just for fun. So pretty much this is what I do when when I do alcohol ink. I kind of just put stuff down, watch it, see what it does, and then if I think, oh, I, I want to change something else up, or if something's dark and bugging me, I'll go back with the white. It's like we have... We have a little bit of a ring going here, so I'm going to go in with the white and just take that ring out. Do the same thing over here with this blue. That rainbow is really cool. I, I've I've been having fun with it. I haven't really used it too much yet, so this is this is fun getting to play with it. And you don't have to do circles. You can do streaks or anything. It's looking kind of cool. I'm going to take this yellow and kind of fill in a couple of spaces here. Not too much yellow is showing up. Oh shoot. I dropped. Well, we'll go with it and see what happens. Hopefully that'll turn orange. And see how that's kind of turning orange and it's also making some of that gold drip down. And take out that hard line. Uh, I don't want the brown. You gotta be careful with the mixing the yellows. The cool thing is most of it is fixable. Why didn't I leave that alone, huh? You just have to play with it and get kind of get it to where you want it and um you know, if you don't like it, you can take your brush and just kind of go in and put color where you want it. You don't have to stick with just freestyling. Sometimes freestyling gets you a really cool um, rock. Like this, to me, is looking pretty cool. I'm still not crazy about what's going on here with this gold. I'm going to put a little blending solution over here in this cup and I'm going to drop just a little bit in. See if we can get that to blend a little bit better. I'm going to drop some yellow.
and I'm just taking out that line with the brush I don't want undesirable colors here so make sure I take care of that before I think I'm liking that much better so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna take it to Wanda and say here you go do something cool because I really really like how this turned out I'm gonna go with this I like how it is just like that so thank you so much for watching um, I will let this dry completely and then I'm going to spray it probably about three times with a matte spray sealer I use rust-oleum two times so I'll definitely use that um, before I hand it off to Wanda because um, I don't want the alcohol ink to come through and and mess with anything so hopefully this helps you and you experiment and have some fun and just play with it and um, you know let me know if you have any questions post them below please don't forget to subscribe we're a new group or a, a new uh, channel and we're just trying to teach what we can and put it out there so y'all have a great day thank you hello everyone wanda the foiling rock lady here again and this is another collaboration with the awesome katie thompson look at her beautiful alcohol ink i just oh i'm so in love with that love it so much anyways i had this thought it's valentine's day and look at this gorgeous kissing couple in a tree isn't it's so beautiful to me so I want to put that on here and I really don't want to mess with it too much so I'm going to put the black tree branches here and then the leaves in her hair I'm gonna foil those a bit and I think uh, that's gonna be it I just want it to be a you know a statement it's very uh, her alcohol ink is so beautiful I don't want to um, impede it very much so that's my idea here and I love this. I could probably draw it, but y'all know me. I'm a scaredy cat, so I'm going to do what I do best, and I'm going to trace. So, since you guys don't get to see me do that very often, I thought that I would just show you again how I do that. That is carbon paper that I have cut around my image, and it is face down onto my rock. And then I put my image on top of that and I'm taping it to the rock um, so that it won't move while I'm transferring it. Now to transfer it, I like to use dotting tool stylus because it has, you know, the smallest ones. It's like a pencil, but it doesn't leave any graphite on the paper for you to get on your hands and then get that all over your rock. And, you know, sometimes pencils are pain in the rear. So we'll just leave that part out. So I'm just going to transfer this right here onto the rock. And I'm going to just do the outline of the tree. And hopefully I'll get something like this when I go to painting it in a little bit. I am um, I love the idea of this tree is so romantic to me the lovers what do we want to call this lovers tree I love the lovers tree so happy February 9th everyone that would be 2021 in case you're watching this 10 years from now which I sure hope you are So around the faces, it's particularly important that you trace this very carefully. For me, anyways, faces are pretty hard. So, um, and these are pretty intricate little details here. I'm hoping they, I can see them on the inside, I hope. Anyways, I'm going to get these branches out here.
And I think I'm going to do those leaves in like a coppery gold metallic color. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. I don't think you can see it through the camera, but at an angle you can see your trace lines, but you can't see it in this camera. So, you know, Katie showed me earlier. Let me turn on my flash and see if that helps anything. Not much, but we'll turn it on here. That way I know you guys can see better. <laughs> And I'm not being, you know, too particular about the branches since tree branches are sort of, you know, they do their thing. And I'm just putting like a little scratch where the leaves are. So I hope to do this justice. I love it. All right, that part is done. And keep going around here. So I'm going to keep tracing all the way around and then I'll come back with the black paint. Okay, let's see how I did and if I can <laughs> do it justice. Ooh, it's going to be tough. That means I have to do the faces. Ah! <laughs> all right. Oh, I think I missed some section here of the tree. That's okay. I will do it with my brush. So, I'm going to get some paint, black, oops, and I'm going to start down here. And I'm just going to paint my tree the way it comes to me. Well, I'm going to follow the design and hopefully get something similar here. You know, I'm hoping. So if you've decided to follow along here, um, I'll make the traceable available for this tree. Also, um, I just added that branch because I made a boo-boo. <laughs> I'm going to turn off the flash because it's too bright. There, now you could probably see my lines better without it being so bright on there on the paint. <laughs> um, Anyways, if you're following along with me, I'll make that traceable available. Um, if you'd like it, you can request. Um, 
So just keep painting in where you've traced your um, image onto the rock with the carbon paper. I gotta turn it so I can see the graphite transfer. Okay, this is her face, so I want to be careful here. Wow, okay. Hang on just a sec. Let's see if I can do it. Can you see it? Okay, light back on. <laughs> She's going to have some big lips. <laughs> no laughing, guys. No laughing. Okay. There's her eye, and let's try to do the eyebrow here and the forehead. Hmm. Okay. Just getting those branches in here and trying to lay down some of these leaves that I see. Um, leaves
I'm going to block in this dark right here. Okay, I'm going to work around his face here a bit. <laughs> oh, this is no good. Well, we'll see how it goes, huh? Well, maybe people will see it, maybe they won't. If not, it'll just be one heck of a cool tree with leaves off one branch. <laughs> oh, see the faces? I can see them. I see them. See his right here and hers right there. Yep, I think it's coming together. <laughs> At least I hope it is. Okay, here's where I got to do the work myself because I missed, let's see, about right here. And this branch came into this one. Uh-huh, here they are. So I missed this branch here, comes out. Pretty handsome. Just finishing the other side. Turn it this way a bit. And
last little branches. Yay. Oops. Guys, that's beautiful. Can we see? I'll put it up here real close. Ready? Oh, come on, focus, boom. There we go. See the faces? Yes. All right, and now I'm just going to fill in some of that black base, the trunk here, just make it darker. What a beautiful tree. Oh, Lord. And now you're in focus. <laughs> so Katie's beautiful alcohol ink took this tree wonderfully. And now I'm going to, with these leaves over here, I think I'm going to add a few more. Just a few more out in here. Um, and... Then I'm going to fill them with some, I think, gold or colors, you know. So for that, we're just going to take the glue on our brush. Oh, I'm getting a gloves first. Glove up before you glue. out and I think I'm just going to use a couple copper strips here like that for the leaves and I'm, I might do some copper and some transparent so we get some multi-faceted goodies going on so basically I'm just going to where I have a leaf press down and lighten up press down lighten up to make the leaves press down lighten up and you don't want very much glue for the leaves
Okay, I think that's that. Oh, a couple more here. All right, and then cure that with the light for a cycle. Okay. Let's see here. So I've cut just a few little pieces off of the copper so I can control it better. So because I don't want them all, I just want to touch a few. Show you how I'm doing this. So I'm just touching down a couple here and there. So I don't overwhelm it with copper. Make sense? Okay, kind of like that. And then I'm going to do the laser foil. I call it laser this way on the rest of them. Okay, all the glue bits are covered. Let me see here. Nice. All right, with the flashback on, what do you think? I think it's a simple tree silhouette with some bling bling in her hair. And we get a man and a woman having an embrace. How romantic is that? Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Again, this has been a collaboration between Wanda, the Foiling Rock Lady, and Miss Katie Thompson, who did this beautiful, gorgeous alcohol ink background with some glitter added in. Absolutely gorgeous. And I am, I keep thinking I might want to do some more now that I'm trying to wrap it up. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe just a bit. You know how you never know when you're done? You think, I'm done. No, I'm not done. I'm done. Nope, not quite done. You know those paints I made the other day? My favorite, 7.5. I'm just going to, just a smidge of it. Just because, you know, and then I'll let y'all go. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't stop though. I can't stop myself. Okay, now that it's nice and mixed, see the color shift? Gold, pink, perfect for this. Okay. So, I'm not doing hardly anything, just... Just a few in her hair. Like that. And I'll do a few in his hair just to give the highlights.
I like it. What do you guys think? All right, I'm going to stop. Now, if you have liked what you saw here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Definitely hit like and hit the bell if you want to be notified when Katie and I upload new content. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again real soon.